I don't want to say I'm talking about the stock market and the stock market being down yesterday and also over the last few weeks. And I've when this kind of happens, I do start to get a few more questions, um, a few more emails about what they should do. Um, is it time to sell the positions? Is there a crash coming? And hopefully this video will help you if you're just getting a little bit nervous out there or you're looking for some reinsurance about what to do. So. The stock market has been down quite a bit, mainly because we believe there was trying to, uh, trying to trade deal and that kind of turned around and it turns out there's not going to be one. Um, but yesterday was the big news that the Nasdaq has entered correction territory. Now, that's obviously over the last few weeks with a lot of tech companies that rely on China and also some news came out yesterday. So the news that came out yesterday is that the US government is looking to probe or look into a lot more of these US tech companies which isn't terrible because that means they get regulated a little bit more and if a company is doing everything completely right then they shouldn't have too many things to worry about obviously it's a little bit not great if um, the US government is always continuously looking into your company and seeing if things are going wrong but like I say if your company is doing something, everything right then you shouldn't have too much to worry about and obviously the China trade war is something that has affected all the stocks because we believe there's going to be a deal and there wasn't a deal and that's brought the stocks down um, now obviously I put stock market crash part two here because when we look back in um, towards December time we believe there was going to be a stock market crash there and there wasn't the stocks pulled back quite a massive amount and back then I was a little bit more um, nervous about the pullback because I believe that with all the slowdown and everything that was going on there was potential for the stocks to go down and that's when I posted a video saying that I was going to sell all my positions in the stock market and I did and then eventually went down and then I bought it back in um, and that's why I entered most of my positions at the start of the year. Now this time around I'm a little bit more um, confident about what's going on because if the stock market was going to crash I believe it would have been in December when there was a lot more negative news coming out. A lot more economies were slowing down, the US economy, China economy, the trade deal. Um, but now we kind of saw a bottom back in uh, December with the trade deal and the slowdown. So like I say, I believe the stock market still has uh, potentially another 10% downside from here. But I don't believe we're in for a crash right now because the economy is still not too bad uh, going forward. Obviously the China trade war uh, is there and... Uh, we had some negative news today about this uh, US government uh, looking into uh, companies a little bit more but um, most of that news has been priced in now with the China trade war like I said has potential to bring the stocks down a little bit more um, but if we look at the day itself it wasn't a bad day for stocks we saw a lot of stocks trying to rally um, a few stocks in the green and uh, it was only really the Nasdaq that was down massive when we look at the S&P the S&P wasn't down huge um, so it's a good sign that the uh, it was trying to rally today the S&P 500 which is a, it was a good thing to be looking out for. Now when we look at individual companies there's some actually massive sales going on after today. We look at Apple, Apple's been ap hit absolutely huge and um, obviously that's been there's a couple of other news with Apple why it's brought it down but I bought it to Apple on the last dip and then I sold out um, it turns out I sold out at the perfect point. We look at Apple as a rate good discount on there. Microsoft had one of its um, worst days for a while um, this year so uh, you don't really get that too much with Microsoft so that might be a good time to enter. Google has had a horrible year after the earnings and now this. Um, I never thought I'd see Google back down at these prices. I never thought it would drop below the 1200 mark again but it has done. PayPal uh, pulling back quite a bit. Boeing obviously with negative news as well and that pulled back. Facebook was down absolutely huge, one of my positions, um, the one that was really affected by this uh, and some other negative news as well for Facebook but when we look at Facebook we look at the 10% growth, the 10% EPS growth, uh, the, 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 that PE is just dropping and dropping I'm like wow like um, I wasn't really planning to buy any more stocks really this month but after seeing how much Facebook dropped yesterday I'll consider it but like I said I'm kind of like holding off about investing uh, right now because I put a lot of money in my investment property which I'll make a video about in the next coming few days hopefully this week or next week um, but if you were you know looking at some of these stocks and you were really liking these stocks last week two weeks ago look at these prices they're at they're absolutely crazy right now now hopefully some of this information I'm going to show you is going to help you so first thing don't get emotional. Look at how the stock market recovered last time. It, you are going to have drops in, in when you invest in the stock market. It's just about staying calm, 
you know, that's part of the gig of investing in the stock market is that you've got to stay cool under pressure. Sometimes you are going to see them losses go, uh, the profits go a little bit and then come back. But we, we're sitting still on a good, you know, 10% gain, I think it is this year. So it's not too bad. When we look at December, that felt a lot worse. That was like a massive pullback after the year, not, not a great year. And then bang, you know, that pulls pretty much all negative for the year where we're still sitting on a profit. So don't get too greedy. We've all done okay so far this year. So just relax and eventually the stock market will pull, pull back. And one thing that I'm always going to say is a stock, the stock market has recovered all of the crashes it's ever had and all of the corrections it's ever had. So if you ever get a little bit nervous, just think the stock market always 100% recovers its losses. So at some point it will bounce back. And also buy on discounts. You know, you like to lock these stocks when they're at stupid prices just because of these little news. It's a good time to go buy something for cheap. Um, you know, if you're looking into getting into companies and it's on sale, Go buy them on sale. You know, all these companies will recover all these losses a year, two years down the line. So go shopping. This is your time to go shopping. This is the time when Warren Buffett goes quiet and starts buying stocks. So remember that, guys. Um, so today, that's me talking about the stock market crash. I hope it helped you. I hope it just reinsured you a little bit. Guys, go look at some stocks to buy. Honestly, it's a great time to buy. Uh, give the video a like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video.